yeah. so basically what we are seeing is uh, whenever from the sediment seabed hydrogen sulfide and methane seeps out because uh, we know that a lot of uh, methane in the in the storage in the deep in the inside the sediment so sometime through the fracture zones these methane gushes out from the sediment and you can see that then they, they look like this see how this gas flares they come out you can see also see these gas flares also sure. come out from the seabed so when the gas flares like methane come out from the seabed they there are a lot of biochemical reaction takes place biochemical reactions one of the product of the reaction is hydrogen sulfide so the entire seabed becomes rich in hydrogen sulfide in a normal uh, situation where most organisms live in the aerobic condition or everything will die if there is hydrogen sulfide but then this creates a very unique kind of ecosystem and that is known as a chemosynthetic ecosystem or extreme ecosystem where those organisms can survive they depend on methane and hydrogen sulfide for their survival so these are some of these organisms which we uh, found in the mannar basin and uh, in the krishna godavari basin in, uh, in two consecutive years and uh, these are of course the first discoveries from the indian ocean region and uh, see like for example this one you can see this is in isopropyl alcohol this is preserved this is called bathy modulus this organism survives entirely by consuming methane or hydrogen sulfide it eats that and it it's its body system has special sets of bacteria which can convert that into nutrients for the body energy similarly you can see in this region you can see strange kind of this uh these are called lobsters yeah uh <coughs> squat lobsters you can see these squat lobsters and uh, they just look like uh, small robots and but they they survive on by eating these kinds of soft bodies of these organisms these soft bodies they eat this then you also see these kind of organisms there this is a neolepa this is also the first discovery from this region this neolepa the most fascinating organism that we discovered in the mannar basin is this one this is called a tube worm the outer hard material is a chitinous material mm -hmm. chitinous metal protein extremely hard it is so hard that it took us almost 3 hours to cut this tube mm -hmm. and take the soft body out uh now this organism is fascinating because these are among the oldest organism that uh, the creatures that formed on the sea bed and uh, this one i approximately dated using growth rate as 120 year old so when we sampled it you can see how it looked like this long tube this is a part of the tube it was almost 1.3 meter and this could go even up to 2 meter high and that time i approximately dated it as a, by the growth rate as one 120 year old live organism okay. and you can see that soft body inside in this photo this soft body and uh, yeah so this was uh, fascinating these reports are of course they are published in uh, journals and in this region also has uh, high gas hydrates methane hydrates and you can see in this photo that uh, we are burning this methane hydrate and these methane hydrates are found in this region at a very shallow depth hardly 2 meter 3 meter or 6 meter below the seabed and normally in the krishna godavari basin methane hydrates are quite deep but here we find it very shallow so like that there are all these organisms you can see calyptogena uh, acarax all these organisms survive uh, on this thiacidity they all survive by eating hydrogen sulfide they absorb hydrogen sulfide through their specialized body parts and in their gill tissues gill means where the gaseous ex gas exchange takes place in the gill tissues they have special bacteria or bacteriocytes in the special bacteria there which are sulfide oxidizers so they oxidize the hydrogen sulfide and in that process they produce energy atp and that energy is then used for producing the body mass so that's why this kind of a setup is known as a chemosynthetic or an extreme ecosystem you know the other process is the photosynthesis just just now you saw photosynthesis in that phytoplankton net green color material so here what you see is a chemosynthesis there they are independent of light they just take the hydrogen sulfide and the oxygen from the sea water and they have got hemoglobin some of them have the hemoglobin like these are soft bodies are hemoglobin so those hemoglobin can attach both hydrogen sulfide and oxygen and convert it to by oxidation some energy which is used for the body mass so we call it a 
extreme ecosystem. There some are microbes are also talked about uh, uh, or yes. gi uh, giving out oxygen, isn't it? Some so that that is that is in your photosynthesis process. So cyanobacteria. 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 Photosynthetic process where CO2 is and taken and oxygen is liberated. Here it is taking oxygen from the seawater and hydrogen sulfide from the sediment, and within their body cells. They are producing energy, which is then converted to body mass. Sir, its composition.